Hello babes, welcome back to my channel. It's so weird saying that because I just finished filming a wedding today for you guys and I just did an outro for that. So it's so weird getting back on here being like, hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. This morning I dropped off Nyla to go get her surgery. I'm trying not to get emotional. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. That's what everyone tells me. I did get the call um, that everything went fine. First, I was like, getting anxiety about when to spay her and like, am I doing it too early? Am I doing it too late? Should I like, you know? So I decided to spay her around five and three quarter, five and a half months because I didn't want her to get her first heat at six months. By the way, if you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe, hit the bell to get notified for all of my brand new videos and follow me on IG, it is at Steph G. Macedo. I had to drop her off really early in the morning. People have different opinions about it, but I decided to like get her spayed before her first heat because personally, I just did not want to deal with it and the vet was like, honestly, you're eliminating things if you do it before and then there's people saying that you're eliminating things if you let her have a first heat, you know what I'm saying? Two weeks of that crap? Well, actually, it's like three weeks, like, no, no, no. The only person that's going to hate me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm waiting for four o'clock to come here so I can four o'clock to come here so that I can go and pick her up because they're kind of monitoring her in the meantime. I just kept myself really busy filming this morning so I wasn't like thinking about her. And I should vlog it for anybody else who's going through something like this, and I can maybe alleviate your anxiety. I mean, a lot of you guys helped me out. Like everyone said, you don't have to worry about it, it's fine. I haven't physically seen her. And like when I see that she's very down, I think it's gonna like really break my heart. I already was crying earlier. Like after I got off the phone with the vet, like just knowing everything went okay, like it did put my mind to ease. And, you know, I also got her microchip too, by the way. Um, but yeah, just knowing that she's there and like, I don't know, I'm just like, oh, I just, you know, I wanna like run to her and like be her mommy, you know? Lord, this is why I am not having kids. Y'all, I think after Nyla, I've decided it's just not for me. Like, I realized that like from very, very young, you guys, anxiety was really passed on to me and it really affects you. Like, do you know, I feel like my anxiety can get a bit obsessive compulsive. This has just really made me think about just my future and I realized I'm like very worried about every little thing when it comes to Nyla and I'm like, imagine a human being. So I don't know, that's something I'm definitely, definitely taking into consideration because I know the anxiety was definitely passed on to me from very a very early age and I just don't think I want to pass this on to a child, like I really don't, you know? I think also me being very careful would make me a like phenomenal, amazing mom. Like do I think I'd be an amazing mom? I do. Oh. I think as a woman, we're always going to have something inside of us that feels guilty for not wanting kids. I've kind of been feeling like that before I had her. So I feel like with her, it's like making me feel like that even more. I want to share it because I don't want other women that are in my position to feel like it's a bad thing if you don't want children. But I also think it's because in my childhood, I'm the one that got a lot of anxiety. Whereas for my sisters, it was kind of watered down afterwards. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna post this video because I feel like I'm just like blabbering. But I also feel like I'm at a stage where a lot of you guys are at too, where you don't know if you wanna have a child and that's okay. The reason why I cry is because it does make me sad, don't get me wrong. But I have to be responsible. I, ha I think I have Kleenex on my lip. <laughs> I hate myself. Wait, before I go and clean off my Kleenex face, let me know if you are a mom and you do have a lot of anxiety and you are a worry wart, you were before, and if it's worse now. Um, I want to hear from you guys because you guys have been through it and actually had kids. But how would you say it is? Like, would you say, like, yeah, you know, you are concerned that it's been passed down? Or would you, like, how would you, what would you think about what I'm saying, right? Because like I said, you, you've you gone through it, you know? Guys, I cannot, this is the bodysuit I ended up getting for her off of Amazon because one of you actually recommended it to me. I did get this, I can link this down below for you guys if you guys are deciding to get your puppy spaded. It was really hard to like update you guys yesterday and I wish I could have shown you guys more, but I was just like honestly overwhelmed with everything. When I picked her up, she was just obviously very down and tired, which I was expecting. Like, I hate this whole curbside freaking pickup shit because, like, my dog is whining in her car seat and I'm trying to, like, listen to the girl about, like, the medication, the invoice, and I want to be doing everything right. It just kind of, like, gave me anxiety. Um, they didn't end up putting... I requested a bodysuit for her, which I already purchased one on Amazon, but I expected to have two because 
obviously like the pee is sometimes gonna get on it or she'll get dirty and stuff like that but i'm not touching the wound she said do not touch it just leave it which i'm kind of grateful for because honestly you guys uh, i caught like a i caught a glimpse of uh i'm not tough with these things i got a like a glimpse of what it looked like it just made me like so sad like she's so small you know and i just saw like these two like pink red cuts on her stomach and i'm just like oh I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. So I got home and I just like, she did not look happy with the cone on, which I expected. I freaking hate the cone because I feel like most dogs get so uncomfortable. See, like she's going on her pee pad and peeing. Good girl, mama. Good pee pee. Good girl. I hate the cone and I was like, you know what? But I requested a cone anyways because I wanted to just have one. Because if the bodysuit doesn't work out, I have nothing else, you know what I mean? And she has to be able to sleep throughout the night without her licking it. Like, she'll just, like, itch her bum. But that's why I was like, you know what, I'm, maybe I can take off the cone this morning. Because she wasn't going after the actual thing. It was just, I think it's bothering her that the bodysuit is behind, like, her bum hairs and stuff like that. I did not think she was going to be, like, back to normal with her energy this freaking quickly. This is literally the next morning after her surgery. And this girl has, like, her normal energy level. And I really was not expecting that. So it's just giving me like anxiety because I know I have to like keep her from jumping and running with girl. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's just like giving me anxiety because the girl said to eliminate as much as possible her jumping up and down, especially on the sofa and stuff like that. And my sofa luckily is very low. Look at this girl. Oh, does this look like this girl went under surgery yesterday? This girl looks just fine. It just was like yesterday she was like kind of down she was like so clingy to me she's like i want you i want you i want your lap i don't want my bed i just want to be on top of you the vet did tell me if she is like out of control type of hyper there is something i can request for her to take but it is going to make her like sleepy it's basically like a little sedative i didn't really sleep well last night because she hated the cone but in the bed i could just hear her like trying to scratch the cone and stuff like that and i was just i had to be very firm with her i couldn't like baby her last night because the more i babied her the more she was like oh i'm getting attention for acting like this hey nyla nyla okay you're having your, your little okay we're having a tantrum also, the vet actually emailed me this morning and they were checking how she is and stuff like that. So I'm going to call them and be like, this is how she's acting. Like 90% of them after the first day, like don't be worried because the energy is back. But the thing is, it's on us now, on the owners, because yeah, it's great that their energy is back. But like, chase you around if you're too hyper. I have to close my bedroom so that she's not jumping on my bed. Um, have to make sure she's not she's not up and down on my sofa. I can't sleep like comfortably and I'm not a napper. Like I just don't nap. If you guys want tips, I'm giving her bully sticks. I'm giving her things that require her to lay down and stay in that position. Yak cheese for her, which I've never tried before, but apparently it takes them forever. I ordered her more tracheas. But all she can do, right? So she has to get like her energy out on something. Now she's biting on a tendon because she's sick of the trachea. She's sick of the bully stick. So it's just right now mainly keeping her busy and keeping her like not jumping. At this point, I can't look at it. Like I just can't. I will either... Just start crying or i'm just gonna feel like super nauseous like oh just thinking about it just brings back those feelings again i just i can't look at it i just cannot do it if i could have that on me and like take away her pain i would do it like in a snap like i would take all this away from her and i would be the one that was on bed rest for her you know what i mean just thought the pain medication would kind of make her a little bit more tired but it's not working girl it's not working fed her as per normal she's going to the bathroom as per normal it's gonna be 10 days at least she told me a week before i can walk her because you don't want them especially in the first few days while it's so fresh for them to like be running and if she sees a bird she launches if she sees people she'll launch if she sees a dog she'll launch so you don't want that just honestly the hardest part about this entire thing is just not being able to go on our walks like we normally do because that's just a little update hopefully uh i wish i could have shown you guys like more yesterday just like real raw footage but the real raw truth is that it just was too much for me to pick up the camera i just wanted to do the best thing for her in those moments when i first got her i might not put the cone on her tonight because number one i will get better sleep and then she'll also get better sleep
Maybe without the cone she'll sleep on my bed. I just don't want her falling off and then there goes the freaking wound. You know what I mean? So the other thing I was thinking of, I know it sounds a bit crazy, but it's really not, is putting her crate on top of my bed so that she feels like she's with me. As soon as she sees the syringe, she like wants to take her medicine. So you just put it up to four kilograms. Um, this is the bottle. I took it out of the box so you guys can see what it looks like. But this is me this morning. I'm still wearing the same freaking top. We slept a lot better last night. I put her crate on top of my bed. We slept the entire night, so it was perfect. I'll probably be doing that for the next couple of nights until the cut looks a lot better. I gave her the sedative this morning. It takes a while to kick in, and honestly, you guys, it's hella mild. Like, she wasn't acting that much like more calm yesterday. Like, because I don't like that she's getting these like spurts of energy where she's like running back and forth. It really just makes me anxious. Also, I mentioned to you guys that right now I'm giving her a lot of like her lick mat, her sniff mat, just to like interact still with her, keep her brain going, but it also doesn't require her to like run around, right? And I also just got these in the middle right now, these pig ear strips. So she's kind of chewing on this right now. I give her stuff like this where it has her little kibble inside and she rolls it around. She doesn't run with this one, so that's why I give it to her. Look how cute my baby looks in her bodysuit. See, she's perfectly fine. You gonna lay down? You lay down? I said lay down. Okay, I'm gonna ask you again. Can you lay down? Yes, good girl. Oh, I feel like I look like a mess. Oh my God. Today's the 27th. I have to get some editing done. And all I have to say you guys is that this sedative that they gave me, it ain't doing shit. It's not really doing anything. They cut it up for me into like quarters and they didn't want to like give too much to her, right? You know what I mean? Cause she's small. I'm just like, no, 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 please. Please, just a little extra. No, I'm just joking. She kind of gets these like little spurts of energy. Like you know when a kid gets cranky when they need to really sleep really bad? I go to the bathroom and I'm like, okay, let's go. Let's get out of the bedroom. What does she do? Runs and jumps all the way on top of my bed. I'm like, no, I'm like, no, don't do that. Like, I'm the one that needs the sedation pill. I think it's me. Like, I need something to like, I and I just don't want her to hurt herself. I don't want her to make it worse. So it's like, we have to be the ones to tell them what to do. You know what I mean? They don't know. She has no idea that she has this like cut in her stomach or two cuts because she's not in no pain, you know? But I also understand that she's not getting her typical walks and stuff like that. I got extra two dog wipes for her because I'm really, every single time she's peeing, I always wipe her. But I'm like making sure that area is extra clean. We got pig ears. She doesn't really seem to be a fan, but I'm going to try again. I think it's just because she's tired and she's also full. These, I buy a lot of stuff from this brand. It's beef stuff hoofs, it says in the back here. And when she really needs to like sit her ass down, my chick... Sit your ass down. That's what I'm gonna give to her. This is your sit your ass down treat. So she told me for at least seven days, do not walk her. I might take her out day seven. I might. She already has her follow-up appointment that's booked at 10 days. And the girl said it's a 10 minute appointment where they take out the stitches. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I thought I was gonna have to wait 14 days until the stitches come out. Um, I've taken her for a drive and drives are okay too because there's not... Too much hopping involved there's just like propping up on the window and looking outside which is fine i they're a lot better looking than i thought i think it was just shocking to see her with like something pink red on her stomach when i first picked her up i literally just like it made me kind of nauseous and i felt so bad for her i'm checking it at least like once daily taking a photo with my thing with flash so that i can like zoom in and have like a very clear thing of what's going on there it's going good so far it's just honestly the main thing is not even the healing because they're not in pain it's just watching them like a damn hawk you're i need a vacation <laughs> i need a damn vacation Good girl, mi amor. Look at my baby having her pig ear. Tell them I eat pig ear. I love you. Wow, mommy, you're so cute. Say, look at me, guys. I'm in my bodysuit. I think the pill is actually sedating her a bit right now. Oh my goodness, are we still tired? You gonna go sleep? You're so cute, mi amor. I give her stuff like this because it doesn't require like, oh, you found one, mi amor. No running. Good girl, slowly. Slowly, my love. Tell them I'm on day four. Ooh, your medicine. You take your medicine? 
Oh my gosh, my girl is such a big girl taking her medicine. Oh my goodness. You love your medicine, your mood. Oh. Mama, this is for your pain, so you won't feel pain, my love. Military days. Guys, it kills me the way she licks her calm. So I had to show you guys. I cannot. He is so cute, mama. Blueberry frozen yogurt, and she's gonna have it right now, and she's clearly super excited. Go in your bed. Yes, I know you love your yogurt. Lay down. Yes. Oh, you love your yogurt. I need to get more of these lick mats because I want to like freeze different ones throughout the day. But yeah, these lick mats are so good for putting them inside the bath when you guys are grooming them on a table or something. Today is currently a Saturday and today is day five. I can't remember if I mentioned that or if I even picked up the camera today. I can't even remember. Her incisions are very, very small. So I'm like very impressed with how they did her entire surgery. So as I noticed now when I take her out, she's like getting extra, extra excited because she's been cooped up, right? So I take her for like a drive every day, every other day, I really try to. Yeah, I'm still training throughout this entire time, like doing a lot of obedience training because if you let that go, I mean 10 to 14 days, that's two weeks of not like keeping their brain refreshed. Like, hey, remember this thing I taught you? So I just picked up my second Starbucks just to get some fresh air and to get some more coffee because you can never have enough coffee in your system. This blanket's actually the same color as my sofa and I leave it um to one side because she knows that's her area to eat her stuff because i can grab this blanket and throw it inside the wash whenever i want it's much easier than cleaning your actual sofa hello nyla girl tell them today is day seven one week after my surgery and i'm doing so great i'm also having an ice cube right now because my mommy knows that is my favorite Nyla, you know what I should have been doing this entire time so that you didn't get any weight is just give you freaking ice cubes all day long and you know what me and you should have been doing that no i'm just joking Nyla, look at mommy so I can get a thumbnail. Wow, what a beautiful girl. Oh my goodness. You and your bodysuit. I'm actually going to miss her inside this bodysuit. But Wow, can you give me high five? High five. Oh, good girl. Paw? Oh, what a good girl. Can you lay down? Oh my good. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Someone needs to take a nap. Now Hello, babes. I know that when I edit this, I'm going to be like, Steph, your double chin is coming out. Well, Steph, why did you put the camera... Ah, ah, ah! You know we don't do that. <laughs> Putting the ice cube on my glass table. Ah! Oh, my God. I swear to you. I need this girl to get just fully healed so I can take her on walks and let her energy get outside instead of in here. I'm just noticing, like, she's a lot more cranky. Um, and it just goes to show you guys that dogs get anxiety from that when they don't get exercise, when they don't have things to do. And I've been giving her bully sticks, things to bite on, things to chew. That's probably been the biggest challenge is her not being able to like let out her energy and get exercise. I'm going to be getting a um, really long lead or uh, leash. The next thing I'm trying to do is a recall, which is going to bring me on to my next thing I want to tell you guys about. A quick story time. So but the most scariest thing and probably my biggest nightmare happened. I did get the retractable one, but honestly, you guys, there's just something in my gut I just don't feel right about with them. Um, Siri, I wasn't talking to you. Anyways, um, especially after this happened, and it's so crazy that this happened because I was already saying the next thing I want to do is get a long leash and do a recall. We're in the backyard and the fence had been taken down because the new the fence is going to be put back up. Fine, I had her on a leash and I had her on a harness. Now this harness, you guys, that I bought, I like this harness, don't get me wrong. But I ended up going a size up <clears throat> because it was really kind of pinching right underneath here. Maybe she's not extra small anymore. Like you put this on her when she was like a freaking little cotton ball. You need to get a larger size. And I would say to myself, oh, it's kind of big, but I'm like, Steph, she's not going to get out of here. Like, it's, it's a harness. I used that damn size harness for weeks, okay? I said to Amy, I'm like, oh, it'd be so nice, like, when I get the, lar uh, the long leash, because then she can be more free, right? And she's like, let me go get the retractable one that I have. So I was like, okay, cool. Nyla's never seen this leash before. She's never had experience with this leash before. And a lot of dogs, when they see this, they hear a clicking noise. Or they don't like that the hand thing kind of chases them while you're trying to put on the leash because it moves, right? Uh, kind of reliving this, you guys, is really hard to talk about. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, 
doesn't like that the thing is following her and she's already kind of in a hyper mood and at that point i should have kind of taken a break from it like now i now you kind of learn from your mistakes in a way i'm like i wish this never happened and i just kept obsessing i wish this never happened but i'm like stuff if it never happened you would have kept this freaking thing on her. It could have been way worse. What does she do? She starts squirming. And when this girl squirms because she's very tiny, and because I'm holding the top of her harness, I'm actually, I actually helped her. Now I'm, now I'm thinking about it. Boom. Took out her neck, her head, and everything. This girl went oh, on the loose. I have never felt my heart drop into my stomach like this ever in my damn life. It was just immediate, immediate panic. She could have just zoomed all the way down and I'm thinking in my head, maybe your training and maybe keeping her constantly with you helped out with this situation because she's not comfortable going too far away from you. And she is very clingy to me, but she's also very friendly and that's why I was so afraid. Or if there was a bird? There was no birds, there was no squirrels, there was no kids, which there was minutes after once again. There was an adult, which there was minutes after once again. There wasn't all these distractions. This happened for a reason to tell me, Steph, you knew that this thing was a little bit too loose and a little bit too big on her. You should have listened to your intuition. And I always tell myself, Steph, your intuition is so freaking sharp. Listen to it. So I was just like, Nyla, I just started screaming. And Amy was there and she was like, don't freak out. So when she said that, something in my brain went, yeah, she's right. You have to calm down. Like, in my head, I was like, I'm freaking out. Da, 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 da. Like When I went to scream for her, obviously, you guys, if you scream for them and you go like this to them, they're only going to back up. I didn't have any treats or nothing with me. She would have come freaking instantly for that. Thank God that there was no massive distraction out there because I'm being honest with you guys. This was... This was a better place for this to happen, but I will say that's another thing looking back, I'm like, Steph, this could have happened on the sidewalk. This could have happened on the street, Steph. She kind of went like around me and she was just kind of like chilling because she loves to sit in the grass. I saw her laying down in the grass and I was behind her and I'm like, something went off in my head. I was like, grab her now. I knew that that was probably one of my only chances. When I grabbed her, It's okay, mama, go sleep. Good girl. It's like sense of relief I have never felt. That is probably every single dog owner's fear. And I didn't want to be outside anymore. I just held her like this and I just went inside and I just got this like thing of, I just didn't want to let her go. Like it just felt so good to have her in my arms. Like I can't, I knew I loved this little girl, but in that moment, I didn't know how 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 much like you don't know how much something means to you when you're when you're almost about to either lose it or something's about to happen to them like i just kept looking at her i kept staring at her when she oh, when she'd be like sleeping on the sofa this is the problem with getting a dog you know you get so attached and you have to understand it's not forever unfortunately and you know there's such like a strong love and bond that you get with them but there's also these these fears that you have in your mind, you know? Lesson of this story time, which is the reason why I'm telling it to you guys, is make sure that your harness is fitted. I, when I tell you guys stories, I just really hope they teach you guys something. And maybe I'm stopping something from happening. So she got her stitches out, you guys. Oh my god, I'm so glad that this day has come. We do like a play session every time. Okay. We do a play session every single time um, she wakes up. That's what her belly looks like. Like the little tiny holes from the actual like string of the stitches will be going away, but I am so happy. But yeah, my baby's all good now, right, mi amor? Tell them I am back. I am back now to stunt. Yeah, tell them you're back now, mi amor. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love you. 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 She said that she did so good having them like removed. We'll end this video off here. I'm just like I said so happy that it's over because it was just so annoying having to keep her like calm throughout this whole entire thing. Tell them I'm doing great guys. Getting my sister Jessica to bathe her at work on Tuesday. I haven't been brushing her as often because of her bodysuit. 
and I just need her to get washed and just fresh and just renewed after the surgery experience. I just wanted to end off this vlog kind of updating you guys when it was basically all over. I'm taking a picture on a daily so that's something I would recommend so that you can see that one, there's nothing coming out of it. Two, it's not bleeding. Three, it's not um, puffy, swollen, super pink or red. Honestly, you guys, it was kind of a stressful experience just because i don't know everyone made it seem like it was easy but th that i knew she was going to be okay it was just more keeping her like please calm down so that your stitches just heal i've been stuck more at home because i haven't been i don't know i feel weird taking walks without her now it's almost like a thing we do together they only removed her ovaries they did not remove her uterus because it's just more invasive when they do that surgery and remove everything also my surgery was done laparoscopically so basically they're two smaller incisions these incisions were so freaking small i saw other people's like puppies had like this massive line on their stomach whereas hers is like one two i haven't had to use the cone this entire time except for the first day hopefully this helps you guys out if you're going to get it done i definitely recommend it if you guys don't want them you know getting pregnant little extra puppies running around in your house i definitely don't need that oh, i would love to see little extra nyla babies running around um it's just you know yeah would you want to see it <laughs> i don't know yeah i don't know what that one's saying if you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you dog moms out make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below anything you guys want to share about your experience with you getting your dog spayed or maybe you want to share something that i didn't mention maybe you haven't gotten it done and you have a question for me let me know down below also follow me on ig you guys it is at steph Macedo. and if you guys want to see more dog videos or you want to see more of this face over here watch yourself um make sure you guys click the bell so you guys get notified for all of my brand new videos i love you guys so much thank you guys for making me cry once again it's all your fault it's not my fault it's your fault thank you guys so much for watching and i will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video